characteristics of daily lead code challenge the problem that we have in today's satisfiability of equality equations this question is a medium level question on lead code however i don't feel the same this question forms the basis of union fine concept and i'll be walking you through this question as well as these examples by the presentation so let's quickly hop here in this question you are given an array of equations the equations are of this format the first character represents the first variable of the equation so this represents the first variable let me just write fv in front of it the last character represents the second variable of the equation so let me just write sv in front of it and the middle two characters represents whether these two variables happens to be equal in nature or not for example double equal to represents that both these variables are equal for example here in this case a is equal to b and the next equation is of type where a is not equal to b what you are given in the question you are told a set of equations you want to identify whether these equations fall true or not how are we going to approach this problem up we will be using union find approach and i have taken a slightly simpler example so that you guys get a good hold of the concept in the first go we will be iterating over all these equations and see what are corresponds to equality sign for example this corresponds to equality sign this corresponds to equality sign this corresponds to equality sign and let's walk through each of these equations one by one here it says that a happens to be equal to b what we are going to do in such a case we will represent this in a form of a parent child relation wherein we will say that the parent of b happens to be a b is eventually pointing to a and a in itself is pointing to a so something like this a a's parent is a itself and b's parent will also converge at a let's move to the next equation wherein it will be represented something on these lines b's parent will point to b itself and c's parent will point to b something like this c will converge at b since c will converge at b and b is converging at a it can be represented in a better format using path compression technique wherein c will eventually point to a so let's remove this connection and what do we have now we have b pointing to a c pointing to a let's walk through the next equation wherein the two characters that are equal are c and d so if you analyze this equation this is nothing but d is pointing to c d will eventually converge at c and from the graph we can see c also converges at a so it can be re better represented in the form where d is also converging at a we can remove this link up so this is a typical way how path compression works so what is the final graph that we have c is pointing to a b is pointing to a d is pointing to a and a points to a itself it represents that a is the ultimate parent of c b d and a itself now in the second go what we are going to do we'll iterate through those equations where we see not equal to sign where we see not equal to sign we have at d not equal to a in such a case what do we eventually do we look out for the ultimate parents of both these characters that we have what is the ultimate parent of d the ultimate parent of d represented in this graph says a so the ultimate parent of d is a the ultimate parent of a is a itself how can a not be equal to a since you can see the question says these should not be equal however we are seeing them as equal we will return false in those cases so it's not a very complicated problem just you need to know the basics of union find approach and this is what i have applied you basically converge all the nodes that hold the equality equation onto the same parent this is the crux of the problem to understand it better let's quickly walk through the coding section and one of the subscriber of coding decoded has submitted the solution his name is saurav thanks saurav for helping the community out and he is a regular subscriber who daily publishes the solutions in java and this solution is exactly inspired by him this has been submitted by him so kudos to you man uh, now let's understand this is his his equations he has created the parent array wherein we'll store the parent for each and every character and by default we have initialized the parent at ith index to be equal to i now we are traversing over all the equations and we check whether these this equation is an equality equation or not if this equation is an equality equation we fetch the ultimate parent of the first character which is the first variable equation at character at 0th index 
we extract the ultimate parent of the second variable uh, which is equation character at the third index and once we have those parents we check if those are not equal in nature we set it parent of var2 to var1 we are basically unifying this up those two up once we have done this uh, we iterate over equations again and check all those equations where inequality holds true we find the ultimate parents and in case those parents turn out to be equal for the first variable and the second variable we return false in those cases if this condition is never met we return true and this is a simple helper method to fetch the ultimate parent we have solved it plenty of times in the past so let's try and submit this up accept it uh, 70 percent faster which is pretty good with this let's wrap up today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye